Can someone give me a reminder of how old I was back in that year? Two, one, two, Mike check. Um, no why one. exactly? I feel I have a memory coming if I was told of my age. Well, I'm not about to look it up. You do that yourself, Biden. Ah, uh, darn alrighty. Newman Joseph Miller on June 24th, 19. Wait, this just clicked with me. What are we even doing? Wait, is that what I think it is? We're back here again. Why? What are we even doing? This is apparently the sequel to the original complex found footage. Only difference is that here we get a bit more background into the back rooms. There are more rooms to explore. And supposedly there's an entity that chases you, supposedly. It, wait, I'm sorry. Now there's a monster that chases us. What is it even going to look like? Honestly, neither do we know. Do they have any It could literally be anything. This is our first time yeah, hearing about the know. complex getting a sequel. So the experience is going to be mostly blind. They haven't gone through yet, so I think you're the first one. Why'd you turn behind you like that? I thought there was going to be something behind us, you know. It's normal to feel this afraid, right? Yeah, that is true. It is the back rooms after all. Joe, what are you doing? Why were you on the floor like that? I was waiting for when I could take control of my character, so I was just pressing buttons until then. Can we also talk about how my guy just snapped into the direction he wanted to go to so suddenly? What the heck was that about? I guess we should have also mentioned previously this game, as of this recording, is in early access, meaning that there might be a couple of strange things that may or may not happen here. So does that mean the monster might just bug the heck out and even glitch out of this world? Possibly. Mm -hmm. Just don't bet too much on it. For all we know, it might even be disadvantageous for us. Maybe this glitch could give him extra speed or something. Ah, uh, great. Thanks for letting me know. I just had to ask, huh? I don't know. I highly doubt that'll be the case. And even then, this is assuming there even will be something chasing us. That is true, so maybe we'll be all right in the end. Maybe. Where are we even walking to? What are we even doing in the first place? I'm so confused. Let's first let this whole sequence play out and maybe it will answer your question. If not, I'm assuming Donald has some sort of answer. Like I said way before, my knowledge of the back rooms is a little hazy, but I believe I'm able to answer half of your questions. Guys, why are you not coming with me? Are you two seriously just gonna leave me ahead to die? Do those two not know the horrors of these rooms? Probably not actually. Remind me, isn't it usually safer to be in groups instead of being all alone? Yes, it is Obama. I myself am not sure why, but the back rooms itself is an entity and is capable of messing with or pulling you into pocket dimensions or even in different timelines. I would ask, but honestly, I'm not gonna, that's just craziness right there. Just a room. There's a hallway leading out. It's an unusual hallway. It's wallpapered on all sides. Where are we even walking to anyway? What is the point of all of this? There's also like a indoor house like uh, guys. guys. Oh great. Of course it's when they're not responding that I need them. What the heck is actually going on here? Well, there's your answer, I guess. Oh, hey, just like the previous game, uh, we fell here because of sheer bad luck on our side. Wonderful. Back to square one again. Is this guy trying to recover back up or something? I don't know how hard it is to get up being in a hazmat suit, but dang, is he taking long. Yeah, this is kind of taking long. Maybe I should just start wiggling my mouse so that way this guy just throws up as soon as I gain control again. Are you doing it right now? Yes, yes, I am. Ah, there we go. Now for this guy to vomit and we can get moving along. Oh, wow, we have a flashlight now. Nice. An item every single person should have on them at all costs. I guess this means we can finally traverse darker areas now. Eh, uh, I wouldn't say always. There's still that possibility that something's hiding in the shadows and is waiting to jump out at me till I turn on my flashlight. Actually, yeah, that is true. We don't know if there's something waiting for us in the darkness. Guess we should be careful then.
Okay, so last time we just had the pitch quietness accompanying us basically the whole time. Now I have to listen to this guy breathe every single second. At least there's the added realism to it. Yeah, that is true, but wouldn't that eventually get frustrating to hear? Or better yet, what if when the monster shows up, our guy starts breathing so hard that we can't even hear it coming? I'm gonna be honest with you, that sounds so unbelievably ridiculous. I'm actually now expecting it to happen. I don't know if I should feel insulted or reassured. How about both? Sure, I guess. Gosh, man, this is seriously bringing back a lot of bad memories from being trapped in the other back rooms. Constantly choosing some random direction, only to be led to even more rooms to walk through. This seriously is a nightmare in real life. Lonely, no food, no water, no signs of life anywhere, and then the sudden appearance of something scary. You think this is starting to take a toll on Joe's mental? Yes, and now I'm starting to feel bad cause of it. Like these rooms really just go on and on forever and ever. No sight of story, no light at the end, just a bunch of false sense of securities. Help me God. Okay, well that's new. You can actually flip light switches now, nice. But I may as well not, because no matter how many I flip, it doesn't light up my path any closer to what is at the end of the road. All it is is just things that try to please me at the moment, but not for long. Okay, Joe's not okay. Donald, this might be a problem. Nah, it's fine, Barack. It's only a problem when Joe starts sleeping or fainting, but right now we're fine. Donald, not gonna lie, that's a bit insane, even coming from you, my boy. Joe's literally being poetic about his demise in the back rooms and you're saying this is fine? Yeah, I will admit him being poetic and stuff is definitely odd, but this isn't something like him falling off his chair or sleeping to a jump scare. Joe's fine. Oh my gosh, I can open this door, guys? We can open doors now? Oh goodness, that means even more rooms we have to go through. This is just gonna be an endless nightmare. Oh great, this is gonna be something, isn't it? Yeah, now that we can open doors, this means there will be way too many places to travel through. I'm still waiting for that something to jump out at me. My skin's feeling it. It feels like it is just right around the corner. I hate it. Also, just in case, is my flashlight limited on its battery life? In that one game with the scary no face guy, the flashlight would run out of juice in just a few short minutes. What about mine? That is a good question worth bringing up. Unfortunately, neither of us know. I kind of am assuming it doesn't have a limited battery life, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. That's also something I didn't think about. There's a part of me that would assume so, but at the same time, you're not playing as some random stranger. You're playing as an individual who was hired for this specific job. What is that noise? And why is it coming from that small hole in the wall? And why is it so unbelievably dark in it? Why not go check it out, Joe? Nothing's totally gonna attack you for it or anything. Oh, of course you have to make it sound like as if something will. Now I'm worried I might get jumped. Can something actually jump out of there? If so, what? I don't remember any small entities that can do so, unless I'm just that uneducated. I don't know. I'm just making the bet that something can. It is the back rooms, it holds things that shock even me. Someone you'd expect to know a whole lot about this. Well, whatever the case is, it's behind us for now. So I'm gonna stop caring about it for now. I guess for now, it's no longer a threat to us for now. I guess for now, we should keep pressing on for now. Are you two insulting me or something? No, totally not or anything. Say whatever you want, Trump. I'm not believing you this time. Oh, okay. Didn't know it was like that. The rooms get stranger and stranger the more we walk down them. I'm trying to think of a time in my life, but it's really hard to think when nothing looks like anything I've seen. Honestly, same. This hallway, for example, reminds me of nothing in particular, which is weird, because I feel the walls look like something I'd see in some sort of candy tour. Actually, yeah, looking at it harder, the pink area in the distance there does paint the walls like something we would see in some sort of tour about a particular candy. Actually, this is starting to remind me of that one candy place in New York. I unfortunately can't remember the name, but if I remember, I think it was about their ice cream and how good it was. 
Then at the near end of it, there's this little mini pool area with these kinds of dark pink walls. Only thing was that it had no pool. Ah, heck, now I'm trying to remember what the place was, but forgot as well. I think my children went there at some point. They said it was pretty good. Wait a second, Biden. You went to an ice cream place and actually don't remember the name of said ice cream place? How? I thought you'd remember a lot of ice cream places. No, I don't actually. The only thing I care about is if they sell ice cream. I've been able to get away with not remembering the names of the place because most good ones just show you that they sell ice cream. I can more times than not peep through their windows to see if they do or see if their open stands sell chocolate chocolate chip. All of their whack names is just too unnecessary for my memory bank. Odd, but I guess that makes sense actually. The more I think about it, there aren't that many ice cream place names I can think of at the top of my head. Wow, the more you learn, it's strange, but somehow I understand where Joe's coming from. Wow, nice trip upstairs to literally the same area. Hang on, how come I can't crawl under here? How do I go lower? I forgot. Did you press some other button or something to make yourself lower to the ground? Are you sure you even can go any lower than that? Well, judging from how low that part of the area was, part of me would automatically assume that it is possible to go under, but I wouldn't know how since I'm not the one playing here. Donald, are you okay, bro? Your voice went much lower out of nowhere. That was actually freaky. Oh, whoops, uh, my bad. I don't know why, but rarely my voice just kind of acts up, I guess. Uh, okay. Very odd for someone like you, but sure thing. Barry, you're not one to talk, mister. Someone like you should not have a high-pitched voice from left field when never sounding like that till that one time. And I know that you know exactly what I'm talking about. Shh, shut up, Donald. Please don't bring it up. What if this is someone's first time watching? I don't want them to know about that. But you also completely understand that it is on the internet now and people are going to find out about your voice, right? You never know. Maybe these people aren't that much of explorers themselves, you know? Well, then I guess for now only time will tell if they ever find out. I really hope they don't, bro. Gosh, man, seriously. Why is there so much area and it all happens to be so dark, bro? It's no wonder we have a flashlight. So many of these areas are shrouded in shadows. Wait, is this place a supermarket? Never heard of a market called Kronzal before. Maybe not, but it is starting to bring back some memories. Back when I was just a pre-adult, I remember back in the days thinking I was a brave man for stepping into the supermarket all on my own. At first, it was a bunch of small stuff like snacks, drinks, and whatnot. But now here I am buying groceries for my kids, especially Hunter, who seems to chew through so much of our food, it's a little worrisome. Does your son end up using the toilet afterwards? How'd you know I was gonna say that? Ah, uh, it was just a guess. We seem to be picking up on the fact your children use the bathroom a lot. For what reason? That I still don't know, nor want to know anyway. Yeah, Joe. I don't know about you, but you make it no secret. Your kids use the restrooms for purposes we don't understand. Like, are your kids all right, Joe? I'm starting to get concerned myself. Okay, I'm sorry, Trump, but did something happen to your voice like midway through? Am I crazy or something? Don't mind it. Again, it's my voice acting up. Don't know why, so just don't pay too much attention to it. Okay, hang on. I do agree with Joe here. Your voice hasn't been doing this, not only in the few previous minutes we've been recording, but also every single video we've done together. Are you sure it isn't some sort of special case or something? Well, if it is, I wouldn't know. I've never really looked it up myself, but I assumed it was just a thing with me or something. Obama, do you think you can look it up or something? Yeah, sure, hold up. Just give me a moment and I'll see if I can find something real fast. Okay, seriously, Barry, could that not be any louder than it already is, bro? Shush, Donnie. He's hardcore typing, meaning you're not going to get to him unless he completes whatever he's searching for. Uh, okay, just make it quick, I guess. All righty, let's see what we got here.
Suddenly I miss that keyboard typing. Now it's too quiet again. I don't like it. Why not tell us any stories you have in mind right now? Well, unfortunately, I can't think of anything at the top of my head right now. I can try to think of a story in mind later on. Okay, I think I found something that might explain Donald's weird voice case. Wait, seriously, what is it? Have you two ever heard of spasmodic dysphonia? No, what is it? Now I'm curious. According to this website called penmedicine.org, spasmodic dysphonia, also known as laryngeal dystonia, is a neurologic disorder that can affect the voice and speech. It is a lifelong condition that causes the muscles that generate a person's voice to go into periods of spasm. In some cases, the disorder is temporary or can be improved through treatment. Spasmodic dysphonia most commonly begins when an adult reaches middle age. Women are affected more often than men. Uh, now hearing it, I don't think I have that condition. I don't think my situation is that extreme or anything. How do you know? What if it's just a minor condition of it? Okay, how about this? Barry, does the site link to any causes to whatever the heck the thing is? Uh, sure, let's see. The exact cause of spasmodic dysphonia is unknown. However, most cases result from a trigger in Oh my in the gosh. Wait, is that an elevator? Oh my goodness, it's back. Sweet heavens is back. Oh my goodness, everyone. Okay, okay, settle down, Joe. We're glad you're excited and all, but Obama was explaining the thing. Wait, does this mean our video footage is just gonna cut out like it did last time? If it does, then that- It's no wonder the government was hiding this all along. They thought they could mess with something out of their realm, like usual. Okay, what the heck is this? This is literally just the same area I was in before. Where even am I? I don't know, nor care. Obama, do you want to continue that case about the, uh, I keep forgetting the name of the thing. Spasmodic dysphonia, also sure, I'll start from the beginning. The exact cause of spasmodic dysphonia is unknown. However, most cases result from a trigger in the brain and nervous system that can affect the voice. Sometimes it is caused by psychological stress. For muscle tension dysphonia, there is usually an inciting event that leads it to develop, resulting in a strained vocal quality. These events may include surgery, virus, inflammatory illness, lesions, or neurologic conditions, such as multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's disease. Yeah, Joe, I think I'm fine. I don't recall ever having to go through any of said cases especially since some did sound pretty extreme. Hang on, what does this newspaper say? Okay, I think Joe has straight up moved on from the topic outright. Oh yeah, that spasmodic thing. All right, Donald, if you say so. Donald, Joe can say the thing before you can, bro. That name's just so weird, all right? I'll get it down later when I care. All right, whatever you say, Donnie. Why is there just some washing machine in the middle of the area? Do you remember what I said the previous time we were here? Something about how objects themselves are able to fall down here on their own, correct? Oh yeah, that's right. That explains that coffee table we found earlier as well. Wait, so then what about the sinks we also saw earlier? Or how about the fact some rooms have light switches? What's up with that? That's part of the back rooms. It's the same reason why certain areas are public indoor pool themed or even that illusionary outside area as well. Some things are part of the back rooms. So how can we tell the difference between something that is or isn't? I don't know. My way is just to observe what seems very out of place and what doesn't. However, sometimes the answers aren't always consistent, but it is a good way of guessing. Is this the bathrooms? This would be a really good time to use it, especially since we're gonna be here for a very long time. Well, judging from the lack of literally anything, I don't think this is the bathrooms, unfortunately. Oh, of course. These floor tiles look very familiar, but I can't put a finger on where I usually see them. Okay, hey, I was gonna say something, but Joe, are you thinking of entering the women's restrooms? I'm just curious of what's in there. I always wondered, you know?
What the heck kind of restroom is this? Why are there stall blockers but no toilets? Who did this? This is the back rooms, Joe. Of course, there's going to be no toilets. If there were even any, then there would be much more stuff than toilets. Weren't there sinks we passed by earlier? What's up with that? Actually, yeah, what is up with that? Does the back rooms just hold very specific but little amount of items or something? Yes, the back rooms has some, but very little. That's why, besides the sinks, we don't really see that many things around. And again, some have originated from the real world above it. The back rooms is just weird, as if it wasn't already. Whoa, 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 wait. Did I just circle around or something? Is this about to be just like last time where I went backwards to the start of the area? Oh no, not again. Are we about to repeat history one more time? Maybe so. If we're gonna continue circling around without progressing, we're trapped. Can I get under here? Will that allow me to finally leave this godforsaken place? Oh, that's how you go lower. What did you do, Biden? Apparently, you can hold down the button that allows me to crouch. I don't know why it's tied to my controls like that, but at least I found out now. So now we can explore new areas we haven't seen before. We could, but I much rather prefer getting out of this zone already. Why'd you turn on your flashlight? This area was too dark for me. How? It's literally a small hallway with room lights at the end of it. You never know. What if the back rooms was hiding the shadow monster and it attacks you if there's even a lick of darkness nearby? Well, then at that point, you'd better hope your flashlight has a large battery life or something. I don't like that there are windows and there's literally nothing behind it. Well, we are in a room outside of reality. You can think of this place as something inside a literal void. And just like that, I'm creeped out now. The radio stations are back again. Do you think we'd get copyright claimed again if we let those songs play for too long? I wouldn't know. It's dependent on several factors, like if the song was modified to be considered different or original, or if the song doesn't have a copyright behind it at all. Regardless, it would be cool if they weren't copyrighted, so that way I can just sit down and enjoy them as long as I feel like it. Uh, now they're just chairs here. Man, what would be cool is if we could just sit on these chairs for a bit. I imagine this guy needs some rest after running around for this long. Also, what is that area above? Don't know, and honestly don't care either. Oh, hey, this looks like a cozy little area to be resting in. A nice vase too, actually. All right, where does this little crawl space lead to? Okay, that's it. We need Whoa. to start running. I need to get the heck out of here. Joe, what the heck happened to your mic there, bro? Huh, what? What happened to it? It literally went crunchy mode. Your mic sounded oddly like a compressed audio file. Oh, uh, that's weird. Wow, of course there is a refrigerator without any food in it. Why are the back rooms like this to me? Actually, now that I think about it, Donald, you said the back rooms itself is an entity, right? Would that technically make it in control of what it offers and whatnot? I've never actually thought of it that way, and honestly, maybe. Gosh, how long does this go on for? Clearly too long, apparently. Gosh, dude, this is just constant walls and pillars that go on and on. Is there any elevator nearby or something? Could it be around this corner? Were you looking at that wall pattern, Joe? Yeah. Something about it reminds me of my grandma's house. I love wall patterns like that. It reminds me a lot of old houses built before the 1900s. Okay, that's it. I'm running. This is getting ridiculous. 
What am I even supposed to look for at this point? I don't know. But judging the lack of any elevator, either you're still too far from it or you need to somehow look for another exit of some sort. Well, I'm sick and tired of this guy walking. We're sprinting till I find something. But won't you have limited stamina or something? Well, I guess we're about to find out now. If I lose stamina, then I hate this game. So let's test this guy. Well, I guess that's one way to test one's stamina in a video game. Whoa, a ventilation shaft? Am I able to crawl in it? I guess there's only one way to find out, Joe. Okay, suddenly I'm regretting crawling in here. This reeks a smell for some reason. It almost smells like sweaty Black Friday shoplifters on a December. Why the heck do you even know what a shoplifter on a Black Friday smells like, Joe? I don't know about you, but that's kind of strange, my guy. That one time I've witnessed it in person during my youth changed my life. Could never forget a moment like that, which sucks because that just so happens to be a moment I always want to forget. It was horrible. That is very odd coming from you. What even is it you do and don't forget? Like I said, there are quite a handful of things I can remember which are special events, even for the wrong reasons. Okay, how long is this ventilation? Where am I even going? There was that one stop I couldn't even go to, so where else am I going? Yeah, ventilations in real homes are definitely not that long, but we are in the back rooms and we are crawling, which would of course hinder our speed quite a lot. I wonder if the entire back rooms has ventilations or even AC. Does it get cold or warm in there? Is there a reason they wear hazmat suits? Oh my gosh, an exit, finally. Whoa, wait, are we dropping down there? Is it even safe? Okay, I knew this guy was gonna drop down from the vent, but now that I think about it, how did he do it? What was he even holding onto that allowed him to have a safe landing? I actually have no idea. I would have assumed he was holding onto the vent door thing, but that wasn't in sight. Well, whatever the case is, let us just get a move on then. Ah, there's that chair my son said went missing a bit ago. No wonder we couldn't find it, it's right here. Oh, hey, look, my shadow, or I hope that's my shadow. Why does it look like as if he isn't holding the camera properly? Or what about the way he moves left to right like a stiff robot? It's confirmed we're an animatronic. Hang on, what does it look like when we turn on our flashlight? All right, that's lame, moving on now. I can't explain to you why, but I think we're in a subway train station. Something about this place just reminds me of it. If it is a train station, are there gonna be available trains to ride or something? That would be pretty cool. I do know that in some backroom videos, there were available subway trains to ride, but some contained entities or were endless corridors. And just like that, now I'm afraid to ride any subway. Thanks, Trump. You're welcome, Biden, anytime, bro. Wait, is that a subway I see? That has to be a televised map. Subway train stations usually show. Guess your lead was on point, Joe. Now the real question is, where is this thing headed to? It looked like it said something about New York City, meaning we're in the dark drenches. That is one of the weirdest subways ever. Why do you say that, Biden? Well, first of all, the Trump Tower isn't too far from it. Excuse me, what did you say, Secondly, Biden? Secondly, the amount of drugs and weirdos there astonishes me. And thirdly, even hopping in and out of the train is scary. The amount of times I've tried getting off of it without falling or getting snagged onto the doors is amazing. It makes me wonder why they haven't fixed those doors for old people like me. Honestly, I'd be surprised if that city even harbors any old people. I can't even imagine what it must be like living there as a handicapped. New York City's a wild place indeed. I feel for whoever lives there and can't survive the crazed lunatics who don't help the elder. Where the heck are we even going? I feel as if I've been in here for ages. Why is it so dark in here? Hey, wait a second. I don't remember turning off my flashlight when we were in here. Okay, that's cool and all, but we might have arrived to our destination. What is that picture? Gosh. If this thing would focus, I could read it. 
Get the card that works for you and your goals. A card? Like a credit card? Because the picture kind of looks like that's what it's advertising. That means this ad was taking place whenever those cards were made, which was, when were credit cards made again? Credit cards weren't made until somewhere after 1950, but it wasn't until I think 1958 where they started becoming more mainstream. And then about 1966, they started introducing more brands for credit cards. Oh, I see. Am I crazy or were we here before in the beginning? No, I don't think so. The area we entered in was slightly elevated and would have been near the area we started in, which I'd assume isn't anywhere near. Man, imagine how nice that'd be, huh? I'm running. Okay, I'm not running, I'm instead crouching. What the heck is that corridor down there? Why are the walls tilting like that? You ask that and you're not even gonna walk down there? I'm intimidated by that dark area, so no, I'm not gonna. On second thought, I'm gonna walk down that tilted corridor. Wow, bro changed his mind like that over whatever the heck was that music. Why is this particular corner so dark, bro? Oh my gosh. Seriously, how many times are we gonna be here? I feel as if we have visited this area before at least like seven times or something. Well, it is the most popular area to visit in these back rooms, so I'm not too surprised, honestly. Yeah, that's cool and all, but I don't care about popularity when it comes to these rooms. Just let me explore something cooler. Something like another supermarket or something. You're probably not going to get another one of those areas till a long while later. You running into that market to me was just pure coincidence. Well, at least we have some stoves. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, this is where things go down. I got it. Start running. Oh, my Lord, please save me. You know, I was about to blurb out something, but now am very much thrown off by how odd your reaction was. Well, sorry. I was just so caught off guarded that my mind was just fumbling. Is it even possible to outrun an entity? Half of the amount of them, sure. Like, for example, the entity that was poking his fingers out. I know we're capable of outrunning, assuming we're playing as a middle-aged guy. Whoa, hey, what are you doing, Joe? Why are you running backwards, my guy? I swear I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna trace back in the hopes I find a better route. Well, make it quick or else that thing's gonna start catching up real soon. Okay, maybe we're far enough now. I don't see him nor hear him coming down here. I don't know, maybe he's sneaking up on us slowly or something. Then I'll just wait for it or something. I feel I'd hear him before needing to sprint. Where are we even going? I don't even know, bro. Feels like I've been in here forever now. Maybe it's because you're constantly walking around instead of running. Listen, I don't know what's about to be ahead of me, so I'm a bit on edge because of it. But if there's nothing here, then fine. I'll run. Does your guy really have a lot of stamina? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Hopefully he has more than we all think. Okay, good news guys. I think we're entering into a new area. I'm sorry, are we now in some sort of tunnel? I don't know, but for some reason I'm afraid of the fact that the elevator isn't here, nor seemed anywhere near here in general. Well, let's just keep going anyways. Oh no, a dead end. Hey, whoa, wait a second. Is that area what I think it is? I think I'm experiencing deja vu. Hey, Donald, I'm not crazy for thinking that area is where we were at before, right? Oh, my Lord, it has to be. In fact, I bet the video we've published 
before looks identical to this area. It's even got the strange exit signs, along with more of those other areas we can't explore. All right, well, that's cool and all, but we should get the heck out of here. All right, gentlemen, it's time to really see just how far this guy can run. I'm sick of being stuck in these office looking lights and want to see more of what's up ahead. And most importantly, find an exit out of these back rooms. Well, hopefully this isn't going to take a long while or anything. Oh my goodness, finally, my sweet, sweet elevator's here. I've missed you. Geez, that actually took so long, I broke the unwritten rule of not hopping on your phone during a recording. What the heck could you be doing on your phone while we're doing this? Hey, remember Barry, I still have Truth Social. I frequently go on. And that's why I forced my kids into uninstalling TikTok. I have to admit, it is a strange decision to make, considering you seem to be fine with them having Instagram and such. I don't like how dark this area is. How? We're literally right next to a bunch of light sources. You guys hear that weird music? Is it coming from the speakers right there? Oh yeah, I think it is. But what is this? I don't remember anything sounding like this. It might just be more of the distorted music the back rooms provides. Songs that sound similar to something but have been contorted to sound something unrecognizable. I'm starting to wonder why this kind of music is everywhere though, especially since last time there was a radio playing original copyrighted music without any distortions and such. I actually don't know about that part. Maybe we just got unlucky. Yeah, I don't know why, but this is starting to remind me of that one time me and my family went to Disney World. It was a truly magical time there, though it sucked that the lines were usually so long. It took so long. In fact, there was this one guy who went to the bathroom and came back 30 minutes later. By then, we were almost at the end of the line. Okay, hang on. I'm sorry. Are you carrying some sort of spell with you that just makes everyone use the restrooms? You talk about your children using the restrooms, and now you're talking about other people using the restrooms. Um, you know, I've never entertained that idea, so I wouldn't know, to be honest. I swear, Joe, something about you and very abnormal things happening around you and such. Okay, hang on. So the back rooms can provide me a very nice looking bed but they can't provide me any sort of resources that are essential for living? What kind of backwards logic is this? Okay, honestly, I actually don't know. That kind of is odd when you put it that way. Maybe the bed is a trap or something. That's my only logical explanation. Is it really possible for a bed to be some sort of trap? Remember Obama? Even something as simple as a pool of water at the bottom of the staircase is a trap. Even windows supposedly have a monster that reaches out if you look at the window for too long, though admittedly that to my knowledge is just word of mouth. Great, good to know. This just keeps getting weirder and weirder with its rules. Okay, now that's just a depressing window. It's literally facing towards a small room containing nothing at all. The heck is that at the end of the hall? I can't tell, to be honest. Just go to it and we'll see for ourselves. Oh, it's a lobby, it seems. You have all the signs at the top, like entrance and north two. But man, has this lobby become so contorted? No wonder we couldn't tell what it was from a distance. Yeah, you're right. The please pay here sign isn't even near the desk. It's just floating above near nothing. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Is that my beautiful elevator here to save me again? Wait, is that a hose? What's that doing here? Holy cow, the speed in which you changed your attention is a little astonishing. What? Have you ever seen a hose just sitting inside a hotel building? You know, I don't know about you, but hoses don't go in a building. That is indeed a pretty weird contortion the back rooms has made. 
putting a hose indoors. Oh my gosh, wait, does that hose work? Does it spray water and such? Did I just skip out on a free? And that's how that one fire truck guy got sprayed down by a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a day that must have been for them. Whoa, wait, hold on. We're in the indoor pools again? Wasn't I stuck in here for quite a while last time? Hold on. Something about this place doesn't seem like the pool area we were in last time. It's actually really dark here. Yeah, there are no white void windows all over the place like last time. Now it's just lit by room lights. Along with that very random tiny lamp on the floor there. Maybe so, but we're definitely in some sort of indoor pool area. If not for the sign that literally said swimming pool, than for the ambiance that sounds almost exactly like the one from last time. On top of that, the white void windows are back again. Huh, interesting. So either this is a different variation of the pool theme, or this is the same area from before, but somewhere else or something. Well, no matter the case, I wanna get the heck out of here. This place is giving me some flashbacks to being stuck here. Holy moly, that is one seriously bright light. I know this is a white void, but geez, I don't remember the color white being able to illuminate this much light. Actually, that is kind of weird. It's thanks to our Earth's atmosphere that we even have colored skies. Without it, only the ground would be lit up, which means there must be some other light source outside and there is a sustainable atmosphere that can even change the sky. That is cool, Obama but I'm pretty sure that's not exactly it. Remember, we're outside of reality itself, meaning there are almost no rules to wherever the back rooms take us. And even no rules to what happens outside of the buildings themselves? Considering the fact that there are some levels where we're locked in an outside area, I'd say yes. Only the back rooms would have an indoor pool area where you walk down some stairs to get to a deep, dark area still filled with water. Whoa, hey, wait a second. Why does this spot in particular have a painting you'd find in some daycare area, but in a place that's flooded with pool water all the way above our ankles? Actually, do you see the floor material? This isn't even a floorboard you'd use for an indoor pool. It's something you'd use in an airport or something. This has to be more of the back rooms contorting areas and rooms together in this one singular mess. Well, it definitely explains why it is so dark down here. This is just one creepy as heck underground pool area with no room lights at all. What does that sign say? Looks like it says pool's closing or something. I can't be the only one thinking this looks exactly like an indoor high school pool or something, right? Yeah, that was also the first thing that came to my mind as well. Ah, uh, high school, what an interesting time that was. Constantly going out for parties, trying to dodge homework, trying to skip out on classes and even getting drunk one time. Good times those were. I'm sorry, Joe, you've been influenced by alcohol while you were still in high school, sir? That's the thing you catch on to, not the fact that Joe willingly tried to skip out on high school? You say that like as if none of us have done that ourselves? I used to do that many times, but I've never had any alcohol before I was 21. Hold on, where the heck are we now? Good question, actually, I don't know. This place definitely reminds me of something like a hotel. Yeah, but how could this place be right next to an indoor swimming pool area? I can't remember what that hotel was I've been to before, but I swear there was one with an indoor pool park. It was kind of cool, actually. My kids really wanted to go back there. Okay, that's cool and all, but I also kind of don't know what you're on about, Obama. Huh? Baby girl elevator is back. She's back, guys. Okay, seriously, I know why you love the elevator so much, but do you now have some sort of romantic interest to this elevator now? Like, for real, what's going on? Listen here, Trump. My mind can't take this anymore. I'm actually positive we've been in here longer than the last time we were stuck in this heck hole. Actually, yeah, I think we have indeed. In fact... Oh, wait, you're serious? He smelled that bad? Yeah, it was that horrendous. We had to shove him into a shower as soon as he got home. Man, I'm glad Hunter at least showers five to six times a week. Can't believe these Smash players really be putting themselves out there like that.
You're not convincing me you turned on your flashlight like that because you think it's that dark. Hey, I saw how dark the corners are, and look, we're right now walking through a dark corridor, so shush. You say that as we approach room lights. You never know, Trump. Maybe these room lights will just die out and I'll be in the dark long enough for a monster to jump out. All right, fair point, I guess. Also, what is that up ahead of us? The top of that thing looks very familiar. Oh no, hey now, why did that thing turn on as soon as I approached it? I'm not liking this one bit. This is making my spine tingle. Ah, I knew it. It's a horse carousel. Okay, I have to admit I'm a bit creeped out here. I've never seen an area like this before. Either that or I'm actually not keeping up with anything backrooms content related. Oh gosh, and it makes those irritating squeak noises. I can't with this thing. Okay, so we have a creepy horse carousel thing spinning around next to a ghost train ride. Great, wonderful. We're in a haunted back rooms. Kind of actually curious what's in this ghost train carnival thing. This doesn't feel like a ghost train. This is more like a long hallway of literally nothing but darkness. Maybe this ghost train is at the end of the hall? I don't know, just guessing. Or maybe we were tricked into walking into a maze. Um, Trump. The back rooms is a maze already. No need to have a maze in a maze already. I get it already, Joe. Just keep getting a move on already. Okay, okay. I apologize for saying the same thing twice. Why are you apologizing for repeating words like you always do? Are you okay, Joe? You're asking me that question? Do I feel okay? I actually don't know. I can't help but feel this is escalating into something bad for Joe. I have a feeling this is going to get worse as we go. Nah, he'll be fine. Oh my goodness, Donald. If you say something related to that one more time. Barry, chill. It has probably been like an hour or something since I last said something about Joe's mental being fine. Oh my God, wait. Has it seriously been that long or something? Oh my gosh. Hey, what was that? What oh, the? No, what was that? That's not normal. I don't know, but I think you should start running like now, bro. I know, I'm trying to do that right now, but this guy's just refusing to run right away. Shut it and just run, Joe. Please, elevator, save me from that monster. We saw too soon ago. The fact that Joe's always first reacting to the sight of the elevator is either astounding or worrisome. Let's just go with both. Come here, come here, come here. Give me my elevator. Okay, bro, chill, Biden. We haven't seen that monster in a while, okay? I think we're good. No, we're not. This elevator isn't even closing and he could still be on our tail. Hurry up, elevator, hurry. Okay, Biden's not feeling too well, I think. This might be a problem. No signs of water nor food for like basically two hours now. You want me to calm down now? Okay, this isn't working, Obama. What do we do now? I don't know. I got no real backup plan for if that failed. We can only just hope Biden stays sane enough to press on. Did you know? If you see a wet floor sign, it actually means they want you to stop running. 99% of the time, there's no actual water or wet substance you can slip on when the sign's there. Biden, are you sure you've just been not seeing the water correctly? A lot of the time there is water you can slip on and you should in general not be running around with that sign there, it's hazardous. Ah, I'm sure, I know me, I'd slip if I was near, I slip all the time. Okay, the fact that Biden's admitting that now, this is a sign and I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to look at it. Also, where even are we? This kind of looks like an airport, except all the windows are facing the void, making it to where we're only seeing the insides of a black hole. Actually, I heard that scientists supposedly have found something inside of black holes. I can't remember what it was, but it's probably some other dimension or something. Oh my Lord, every time I hear scientists finding some extreme discovery like that, I have to ask if they're being legit or not. Like how on earth do you build a satellite that can take pictures inside a black hole? Something with a force so strong, light can't even escape. I don't know, I haven't looked into it, so I can't tell you. Oh my gosh. Speaking of science, have you two heard about Mexico finding aliens? I thought that was crazy when I first saw it. Oh yeah, I've heard about it. My family was flipping out as they heard the news. Now, I'm not convinced. Those aliens we saw looked way too funny to have been actual aliens. 
I'd be more convinced if I saw a UFO, but that's not happening. Hey, you never. Uh, Joe, why'd you stop talking? I swear I just heard music in the distance just now. Whoa, hey, is that a shopping cart? Where are we? I hear the music again. Wait, could we be in a grocery store or something? There's the music again. Wait, is this legit? Wow, an actual mall? Wow, I knew a mall could be in the back rooms, but it's actually a little crazy being in one. Cool, honestly. Well, wait, hang on. Wait a second. If we're in a mall, and judging from the blue colored sky, we can assume it is one, then could we actually exit out of here through that glass ceiling? Okay, in what situation would you be carrying a massive as frick ladder, a glass cutter, and any other materials needed to escape through the glass ceiling? Just play hypothetical with me here. What if you did have all of those essentials and could escape through the glass ceiling? Could you escape? No, or at least I don't think so. As cool as this mall is, we're still in the back rooms and there's literally no escaping the back rooms by choice. Secondly, if you did exit through the glass ceiling, you'd probably be on a stranded building with literally no ground at all. We are in a mall that belongs to a void. As if my demise wasn't made any clearer already. Any one of you got any stores in particular you want to see here? Uh, no, not really. I'm actually pretty positive all of these stores are empty anyway. Wait, seriously? But what about this Flavors of the Rainbow Shop? It has ice cream. Joe, did you literally learn nothing from the back rooms and how they'll give you nothing after making you believe it is something? I'm sorry, I forgot. Of course you would forget that. I got a little too excited after seeing a shop site in the mall with ice cream logos. There was a part of me that just believed it was possible. Well, I'm sorry that your belief in it ended up a failure. Do you think next time I ask God, he'll make it give me ice cream? God's not a vending machine, my boy, so no. Dang it, just had to ask. Media play? Is that a movie theater or something? In back rooms language, probably. I don't know what else it'd be. Okay, what in the world is that music? I don't like it. More back rooms distorted music, I assume. I too don't know what this thing is that is playing. And now I'm on edge. Why are there just a bunch of stop signs ingrained on the floor? And is this room empty or something? Okay, I too don't know either. I'm a little on edge as well. This music's strange. Great. Now I know why there are too many stop signs. This is the wrong way, apparently. Um, I'm pretty sure it would be a bunch of do not enter signs if that was the case. Ah, uh, whatever, same thing. What is this? There's a store closing sign, but this place doesn't really look like a store I'm thinking of. Kind of looks like a library, if anything. In fact, there's even a kid's section at the back of the place. So maybe this really is a library. You're actually not serious. The exit isn't even here too. Where the heck could it be? Where are we even going? You think we would know, Joe? Neither of us know. Well, know quickly so we can get out of here. Joe, that is not how this works, my guy. Then make it work that way, then. I want to get out of here. Seriously, where am I even supposed to go? I feel like I've been trapped in this mall for like two hours now. Let me out. I don't know, Joey. Just keep looking. Maybe the exit's somewhere on the second floor or something. Yeah, but that's the thing. You can only say, maybe. None of you are even sure where to tell me to go. Why is the back rooms like this to me? Just let this poor old man go already. Okay, I'm telling you, Trump, being in the back rooms again was a bad idea. Didn't you have a feeling we'd be in a much bigger location? I knew this place would be bigger. I just didn't think this would take a toll on Joe like this. But I did warn you that this probably would have happened. Didn't I, Trump? You'd expect me to believe it just that easily, though? Shut it, you two, and help me focus on where the exit is now. All okay, right, all right, okay, whatever Biden. you say, Joe. 
Do you think we're heading the right direction? Well, we've never been this way, so I'd assume so. God dang it. We're just circling around at this point. Okay, but there's still some unexplored areas we haven't seen yet, so keep looking. Am I going crazy? Why are we back here again? How many more times do I have to visit this horrible place? Honestly, neither do I know at this point. We might as well just call this home with how many times we come back here. No, I refuse. I'm testing this guy's stamina again and see how far we can push it. Oh my gosh, the trains, get me out of here. Transport me somewhere out of this heck hole, please. Do you really think this subway train's just gonna do that for you? I don't know, last time we were in an elevator, we were able to escape through a trash can. So maybe it'll transport us into an actual subway. Yeah, but that was mostly after we were about to die from how fast the elevator was falling. What if this train crashes before we even escape? Why did you have to bring that up? Isn't there anything remotely positive to hold on to? I'm feeling despair right now. Like, what if that map is trying to tell us something? See the city names and such? What if we get dropped off there? I doubt it. Remember that one televised map we saw of New York? We weren't dropped off. How is it that my flashlight turns off on its own? I swear I'm not doing that. Maybe the flashlight turned off while we weren't paying attention to it. Maybe it's one of those ones where it stays on for a prolonged period before needing to shut down for a bit or something. Okay, please tell me in what universe we have a flashlight like that. I don't recall one ever existing outside of these horrible rooms out of reality. I don't know, you never know. I don't care what that green glow is, I just wanna get going. Let me out of this place I've been in a thousand times now. Wow, a new area. Too bad it looks just as plain as, as the area we've been in forever now. Also, I wasn't crazy for seeing the textures of that doorframe freaking out, right? Yes, I saw it too. Why is it dark in there? And why are there so many tables here? Were there this many monsters just having a night out or something? Huh? Okay, I guess this is interesting right here. A hole just in the ground. Where would that even lead to though? Wouldn't it be a bit dangerous to just hop in there with no return? You say that like as if there's anything worth returning to. Okay, that actually looks like a deep drop. I'm a little unsure now. Wouldn't we get hurt if we fell? Whoa, oh what, the what the heck is, is that? that? Is that hey, you? Ow, my rear. That freaking stings, bro. Your rear was hurt? That fall didn't hurt that much. Okay, actually not joking. How? That stung me as well. Is your rear that caked or something, bro? Okay, now, Obama, what the freak does that mean, my guy? Are you calling me fat or hey, something? Hey, hold on here, you two. Where the frick are we? Is this a grocery store or something? More looks like the back of one. More importantly, where are we exactly? This is obviously new territory. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Right now, it's just dark in here. Okay, never mind. It is now not dark in here. Okay, Captain Obvious. Wait, what's that on the floor right there? Wait, is that tape? Like the tape we saw at the beginning? Oh my gosh, wait. I think this means we're back to the beginning where everyone else was. Wait, are you serious? Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? I gotta get going and start looking for everyone. What are we even gonna do when we find everyone? I don't know and don't care. I just wanna be free from this heck hole. I wanna get out. Man, what a long way we've come. Circling around until we finally found tape on the floor. I think this is it. This has to be. Oh my gosh, there it is. The area we started in. Home sweet home. Where is everyone? Oh my goodness, this really did something to him. Hey, is anyone in here? Okay, for us being back, this is uncomfortably silent. Is anyone even here? Oh no, please oh. don't tell me this is the part where we get jumped in our own base. Come on, there's gotta be someone here, anyone. Just keep looking. Maybe they just can't hear us right now.
Seriously, it is so quiet in here. I hate it. Come on, come on, come on. Someone, anyone. Hmm. Nice logo, I guess. Serious question. What if we're still in some sort of trap or something? How quiet it is here is starting to make me think we're somehow in a different plane of existence or something. Oh gosh, wait, that's something I've never entertained yet. We totally could be. No, 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 we can't. I refuse. Not when we're this close to be at least safely secured with someone. Please, someone be in here. And I'm certainly not talking about a monster. And there's no one here? Great, just our luck. More importantly, what is this weird, creepy music we're hearing right now? I actually have no idea. It kind of sounds like more distorted music, but also sounds like something else. More, more importantly, what's going on? Is this place crumbling? Well, judging from the cracks on the ceiling, yes, this place is going down. Okay, I've never seen this happen before. I have no clue what's happening here. Are we gonna die tonight? Jill, where are you? You think Jill's just gonna shield you from the falling debris? No, I don't know, Trump, can you? You're asking me of all people to shield you from debris? Yeah. Why are we falling? This is so high up. I don't know, but we're falling fast, gentlemen. Why does these backroom videos always have to end? So, um, do you think we in game are dead or something? I don't know how we were supposed to survive a fall like that. Yeah, unfortunately, the probability of us being dead is extremely likely. Geez, seriously, what a long journey that was, all to fall to our demise. Hang on, wait a second. Trump, is your voice back to normal or something? Is it? I actually couldn't tell. Wow. All right, well, shall we end the video here? The duration has gone on long enough already. Yes, let's finally end the video here. Sounds good to me. All right, everyone, that'll be the video for today. This was a long and interesting experience, not gonna lie. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider giving a like, comment, and a subscription to Jared Gaming. It helps us and Jared push more of these types of videos out. Just don't expect these videos too frequently. All of us are busy one way or another, especially me. With that out of the way, take care, everyone. And, and God, God bless, bless you all. You all.